He is not here, he has been raised. This is the good news we are about to hear. The gospel of the day will be found in Grace 61 of the today's Missal. The Lord is with you. And also, and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. God is with you. of the resurrection 
is something that no person who would have invented a story would write it that way. Think of this, for instance, of what Peter said. Peter had accepted, had meant of having denied to Jesus and being the messenger of his resurrection. Jesus truly rose from the dead. But he is alive. This is the most important thing. Think, for instance, of what the disciples did. They were people who did not have many moments of time. They risked their lives to uh, announce the resurrection to the world. But they were not afraid. They knew that Jesus had risen from the dead and that he was alive. If we want to celebrate Easter in the proper way, we need to believe like the disciples did that what we are doing tonight is not simply commemorating something, but we are living something. We are witnessing a fact, not a story or an illusion or something that people have invented. We believe that Jesus is alive. And then if this is so, then we need to let Jesus work in our lives. We need to let Jesus be present. He is alive and he is the one who gives meaning and sense to our lives. He is the one who tells us that goodness will win over evil. That life will be gaining over death. That love will be stronger than.